In this video, I want to discuss what they don't tell you when they remove your gallbladder, okay? When they remove the gallbladder, you will eventually have what's called a bile deficiency, okay? Now, bile is like detergent for grease or fat. So if you can imagine having greasy hands and washing your hands without any detergent, that wouldn't work, right? So trying to eat food without something to break the food down, especially the fats, um, it's not gonna break down fully. So we're gonna have an incomplete digestion of fat and essential fatty acids, like omega-3 fatty acids, which are very important for nerve, brain, eyes, heart, and fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, and K. So eventually you could become deficient in those because um, you don't have a gallbladder, and so you're not gonna have the concentrated bile in there anymore. It's just gonna trickle down from the liver. So the constant drip, and that can affect you in very many ways, like increased risk for a fatty liver, because bile is necessary to break down cholesterol, okay, and fats. So your risk goes up with a fatty liver, um, unless you change your diet. Uh, you can have diarrhea or constipation, depending on how much bile is coming out. If too much is coming out, you're gonna have diarrhea or anal leakage, okay? If not enough is trickling out, you can have constipation because bile really interacts with the microbes. It also acts to lubricate the colon. Um, bile is also necessary to help uh, prevent um, bloating. So you might have more bloating, indigestion, uh, incomplete digestion in general. Okay, so we already talked about not being able to fully break down your fats. Um, the stool might float. That means you're not breaking down those fats. But the liver normally uh, makes 350 milligrams of bile every single day. But the problem is you don't have a little sack to concentrate that because anytime you eat, you're supposed to squeeze out this concentrated bile to do its job. We have a diluted form of bile, which is a lot different. Now, the other thing that you're going to realize is that certain fats require bile and some fats do not require bile. And that's what you need to know about as well. MCT oil, okay, and a certain portion of butter, palm oil, uh, bypasses the gallbladder and it, it goes right into the intestine. So those oils are much easier to digest. Avocado oil, olive oil, nuts, nut oils, saturated fats are a they need bile uh, to break it down. So just realize that if you consume these fats only and none of these fats, you might find a lot of problems with digestion. So you might wanna shift some of the fats that you're consuming. But you also need to consume omega-3 fatty acids. That's really, really important. That has something called DHA and EPA. Uh, cod liver oil gives you a good amount. So that's a really important thing. I would also recommend watching uh, my video, I put a link down below, of all the things that will help output bile from your liver, okay? And you probably even want to get a bile salt supplement to help you. All right, thanks for watching. So I want to know about what you think about this video. So please comment below and tell me what you think.